Uh, my name is Mark Boyle and since November 2008 I've been living completely without money, no spending, no receiving. Um, and I live um, completely off grid, um, about 15 miles outside of Bristol. In 2007 I set up a project called the Free Economy Community which is about sharing our skills, sharing our tools, sharing our knowledge and sharing whatever we've got. Um, and building resilient communities and reducing our impact on the environment in the, in the same process and, and with, the, in, with the additional benefit of saving money. Um, I've also released a book called The Moneyless Man and all the proceeds from that book are going to set up the first uh, moneyless village in the UK um, where we will, we will create a centre of education around all the skills required to live around money so around um, the forging your own food, growing your own food, green woodwork, green um, carpentry um, all the skills that are needed to actually live right cash. Um, my top three tips is the first one will be to get a book um, off a website called readerswapit.co.uk um, on, on wild food foraging and go off and hit the hedgerows. It'll give you it won't it won't provide all your all your calorific needs for the day but it'll build a re relationship with your local environment. Um, secondly, join the Free Economy community. Um, it's, it's now in over 150 countries around the world and no matter where you sign up you'll have a, a resource available to you of people who are willing to share their time, knowledge and skills um, for free. And the last one will be instead of, instead of going off when you're travelling, which we all do, um, and spending 50 quid on a B&B or on a, on, a, you know, on a hostel, then to, um, to go couch surfing. Um, and uh, where the philosophy is you stay in somebody's couch in Paris for one, one weekend and you know, maybe six months later somebody from um, New York comes and stays in your couch. It's all done on a paid forward basis and, and you, get to meet, you get to meet local people with local knowledge. Um, you get those connections, those cultural connections and you get to share resources.